Yeah, man. So some of the fucking four categories, the main ones, came out, you know, and a lot of people seem to be, I guess, disgruntled, and some people are not mad about it, but I think I want to pick my impression on what I think about the list. So as you see, album of the year. What's wrong with the list? You know, like, to me, I don't know. The Grammys be on some fuckery, you know. Look at the list. Alabama Shakes, never heard of it. Kendrick Lamar, solid album. Chris Stapleton, never heard of it. Taylor Swift, I don't mind that, in the weekend. But how can you pick album of the year? Like, what happened to, like, I, I understand it's going to be a category. This is album of the year. Then what the fuck is the point of having a category that's best rap album of the year? You see, that that's the issue right there. And and it's like, wow, are you joking? Like, Lupe didn't put out a great body of work? Like, Wale didn't? You know? Like, so many other artists? It don't even have to be in rap. Meg Myers put out a great album. Um... I just heard her, uh, who is it, Melanie Martinez, I think her name is. She just put out a, great, a crazy album. I'm like, wow, all these different genres of music, but y'all picking the best out of what, who says like that's the album of the year. Hands down, fuck it. If you're going to be honest, give it to Taylor Swift then. Because you couldn't pit a deal on the title, so therefore it automatically goes to Taylor Swift. That's what I feel. Now some would say, oh, you tripping. It, now people are just now saying about the Kendrick Lamar to Pimper Butterfly. Motherfuckers have been all month I've seen, yeah, I, I can't listen to the whole body album. He has some songs that are cool, though. I respect those, but there's no way I can get through the whole album. Now, at first, everybody loved it and praised it. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, it's like, uh, you know, hell no. A lot of comments and on people's pages I've seen, Lupe album, Tetsu on Use. Like, I get it. Lupe said what he said about the president that kind of blackballed him. But fuck all that. If this is about real music and real rap, like, how can you say that that album is not even, uh, how y'all not even going to acknowledge it? That's first of all. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, are you serious? Like, even Wale, like, you know, like, let's keep it real. The new black soul, like he said, he invented on the gifted. And why is it when Kendrick do it, it's acceptable? That's crazy. But that's just that. You know, I'm going to leave that alone. You know, that's albums. So, who cares about albums? Let's go for the next category that I've seen. Hold on. Song of the Year. Kendrick Lamar, Taylor Swift, Little Big China, Little Big Town, Wiz Khalifa, Ed Sheeran. So, you got All Right, Blank Space, Girls Crush, See You Again, Thinking Out Loud. Now, just going off of, I guess, popularity or numbers, what the fuck? Three of them is a tie. The Wiz Khalifa, The Blank Space, and All Right. Thinking Out Loud was cool, but it, I heard the album it wasn't all that. So let's just say we got Wiz against Taylor and Kendrick. Which one of them broke the most records? It's going go to it, it's gonna go to Wiz Khalifa. Just based off the Paul Walkerness, you know what I mean? And we all know R.P. to him, but if he didn't die, that song would have went nowhere. Or if you're going to go that route and say Taylor Swift, which she did break records too, but impactfully give it to Kendrick Lamar because that All Right record impacted way more than the rest of them. And I'm not saying that because I'm black. I'm not saying that because of I like hip-hop. I like all genres of music. But let's just face it, if you had a choice to pick between... Either one of these songs, which one you go through to get you hype? Of course, Kendrick Lamar, all right. That nomination, I'm not mad at because I stated that even in my review. This song right there, it will get you juice. Shit, if I'm even feeling a little down about something, I'll instantly throw that on. I brought that song off of iTunes. You dig what I'm saying? And I think I brought um the other joint about a dollar. But still, I play that shit whenever I'm feeling down about any little thing. That shit will get you you know what I mean? It's like somebody telling you, oh, it's going to be all right. You know what I mean? Definitely put that on. I don't want to hear no fucking blank space. And that sad-ass Wiz Khalifa song ain't going to work. Thinking out loud, it's cool, but never heard of the other group. So definitely, yeah, that goes to Kendrick Lamar, hands down. Taylor, sorry, but that got to go to my boy Kendrick. As far as regular of the year go, 
I really don't care about this, you know. It, to me, none of these songs, in my opinion, will be record of the year because I've listened to none of them. Yeah, I've heard the Weekend album, I've heard Taylor, Ed Sheeran, and D'Angelo album, but is the, any of these the record of the year for me? Fuck no. So they're gonna do the most popular thing, and nine times ten, it's gonna be between Taylor Swift and the Weekend. Sorry, maybe Mark Ronson. You know, but I think they got an award at the the AMAs or some shit. So it's gonna be between Taylor Swift and The Weeknd. Either way it go. Eh. And then we got Best New Artist. Seeing how I really don't give a fuck about this, like a new artist, really. If I look on iTunes and I look up an album and I listen to it and it say this is their debut album, isn't that considered a new fucking artist? Megan Trainer fuck out of here. I didn't even like her whole M.O. when she came in the game about the music she put out, but yet you're bigging up, you know, I guess you say heavy set females or petite, not petite, but you get what I'm saying, thicker females, and yet, bitch, you went and got skinny. That goes against what your music is. Tori Kelly, I respect her voice. I recently heard her on a song. She's cool. Sam Hunt, I'm not really a fan of him. James Bay and Courtney Barnett don't know who the fuck they are. So at the end of the day, Say give it to Tori Kelly, I guess, because her name kind of popular. She got like the look, I guess, you know, for whatever reasons. You know, I've seen her name more than anybody else on this list. You dig? And at the end of the day, it's the Grammys. They're going to do what the most popular opinion is. But out of all these categories, and these are just the the main ones, if you really know, the Grammys have a long fucking list of nominees for different awards. That's why you see the people that get awards on the show, but the show can only be for so long, and then you read everybody else that got the awards, you know what I mean? But I don't know what the fuck to expect. I'm I'm not even looking forward to this award show. And then I don't even want to talk about the fucking performances they may have. It's like, are you fucking joking? So it makes you wonder, like, okay, the Grammys we know are not built for us. Like... You know, shout out to DJ Academics. He did say something that was positive. BT Hip Hop Awards and BT Awards, we should take those joints more serious because that's where the fuck our music get played at. But yet, we don't pit more into those shows as we should because they going off what the fuck is on the radio, and that's bullshit. It shouldn't be, okay, these people are the hottest rappers because their song is always playing. And that's dumb shit. Like, it should be fucking categories. It needs somebody coming to the BET Hip Hop Awards and rearrange all that shit. The BET Awards should be competing with the Grammys because it's overall not just about rap. It's just about, you know, R&B. Then you got this over here and that over there. I understand black entertainment television, but don't know black people on that shit. We already know that. You dig? But I'm just saying, these R award shows should be it can't really compete with a Grammys or American Musical Awards. We understand our MTV Music Awards. We get that, but we should take more pride into our shit and let people know, you know, some of this shit is whack. You know, we need, you know, these categories. Change the categories around. Top five lyrical albums or top five lyricists. You know what I mean? Top five rappers, top five, you know, concept albums. Change the shit around to where it makes sense, to where it's like, we ain't looking at this shit just for radio play. Not every fucking body likes Fetty Wap, Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? Not just dissing them or, or saying that their names, but it's just like motherfuckers still do listen to, you know, Joe Budden, you know, Wale, Lupe Fiasco, you know, even Kid Cudi. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers just underground that really don't get no light. That should have a category. You know what I'm saying? Throw a best mixtape category in there. Best underground, you know, as far as the BET shit. We already know the white folks ain't going to do that with the Grammys, but it's just this shit is crazy because it does this to get news and press for whatever reasons online and people go talk and say this and that. But at the end of the day, like I always say, if you didn't buy none of the fucking music that they even giving awards out, you ain't got no fucking opinion because, for one, you didn't hear none of the shit that you saying. You know what I mean? That they saying deserve the award. So... I always said that you can't make a judgment on something you didn't hear. Now, it's different if you never heard of the artist. That's a difference. I've never heard of some of the artists, so therefore I can say, eh, it doesn't count because how many people really know who the fuck they are? And what age bracket are you guys really ranging your music from? You know what I mean? Who really still buys music like that? So that's the way I look at it. I probably have a different mind scope than y'all do, but when I look at music, it's like I be in them stores buying CDs and I see the age range from people buying music. 
you know, I've seen a couple older people in there buying music before, but I'm guarantee you it ain't for them. It's probably for their kids or something. But some of them, you know, when they do like the Frank Sinatra's and, you know, um, a lot of old school CDs from artists they'll bring back. I do see the people in there, you know, you know, rallying and buying what they buy. But at the end of the day, a lot of that Grammy shit is just popularity opinion. Who had the hottest year or who had the hottest song or who hit the most views on YouTube and shit like that. And that shit dumb. But that's just my take on it. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the categories. And as far as best rap album of the year, what would y'all say five nominations? Male and female. But seeing how it's only one female artist in the game, I guess Nicki Minaj get thrown into that. But what would be the top five out? Al- Top five lyrical albums of 2015. Top five rap albums of 2015. I want y'all to answer that for me in the comment section. But this shit is crazy. That's just me speaking my opinion. And some can't handle it. Oh, well. But that's just what I was thinking. One.